All right, hey y'all, this is CJ here. Um, if you remember my last ATC 90 factory stroker build update, we were having a problem with this clutch hub not fitting the 110 crank. And uh, that was what was holding me up. Um, that's just a stock bore cylinder. It's nothing special yet. But uh, guess what I got in today from Taiwan. All right, it says... Singapore. Um, to... uh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Singapore. Chang Chang Air Freight Center. Yeah. But Singapore. Check it out. Ooh, spinning it around. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Freaking clutch hub. And it fits. That's what's up. Nah, no, I'm, I'm just excited. Y'all ignore that last part. But yeah, freaking got my clutch hub in. Now I can put the clutch side all together. Shove my shift shaft back in there, which I do need to show y'all the shift shaft. Um, all right, you know, let's screw it. Uh, we have in this box shortened shift shaft. Uh. The stock ATC 110 shaft comes out like this far. It has the automatic clutch rocker arm on it. You have to cut that off and then, like, you have to get as close to that weld as you can. I didn't know that, but I had to sit there and file it and all that. But finally got it clearance to fit and all. This has to be shoved back up through here. Like this. We'll find it here. There it is. Pull this off. Alright, alright. Oh, okay, this isn't a one-handed job. But you gotta take and go in behind that. Which is why you gotta move this down. Um should have here put out. Trying to do this one handed. There we go. But, uh, yeah, just excuse me for a second while I loosen this to install that shift shaft. Uh, all I'm doing is running that little pivot bolt out that the. Oh, you can't even see it because it's dark there. Uh, huh. Let's see. Push this down, line up with that pin, which I mean, some of you may have had a shift shaft out of a motor before, so you know what I'm doing. Some people haven't, so they don't know what I'm doing. Really should turn my light on, didn't expect to be doing this on video, but uh, yeah, anyway, you see how the shift shaft is cut off now, stock, it sticks like, out like this far. Um, I have the cutoff piece hanging in here somewhere. Hmm in this box under the motor uh, that right there is what I was loosening this right here that just rides on the shift star um just trying not to drop this motor again there's the piece I cut off alright um it fell there it is but yeah this here was on right there yeah cut that off for the manual clutch cover to fit. But yeah, so I'm gonna get this clutch side all put together and I'll make sure my clutch works right. Rocking and rolling now. <laughs> Later y'all. 